Hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is the 90th part of what if Deku was Sanji's reincarnation, my heroes reborn, the author of this great fan if I see is M. I believe links to them and original story in the description. Chapter 98, The Raid Begins Late one night a text was sent. The date was set for the raid. The nine class members all met up. Yes. Finally said Toru as the air turned black around her and she laughed manically. They all looked at her. We have to make sure doesn't do anything to him. Whispered Achiko to Tsuyu. Tsuyu nodded in agreement. The next day they all went to the agency. Can you please explain why it took so long to investigate? Asked Rocklock. To be honest it was because we needed to make sure any moves that Chisaki made or if he moved said Sir Night Eye. Seriously? Asked Rocklock. As long as Eri is safe that's all that matters. Said Izuku. He considered telling them that she was also being protected by Discord but they didn't need to know that a literal sprit of chaos gave a promise that if he filed to uphold it would cause Toru to angrily confront him. Wait has he been causing problems? Asked Izuku. Everyone looked at Izuku somewhat confused. I mean we did take Eri right away. Said Izuku, he might try something. He's been very quiet. I think he's biding his time. Said Sit Night Eye. Izuku nodded at this. Still the date is set. Said Sir Night Eye. Of course that wasn't the day to do it. Izuku was able to tell Ida and Koda that something was coming up soon and what date it was so that they could take a berry that day. Though with Eri he knew had to tell her. He even got permission as she was the victim in this and she deserved to know about the raid. You're going to fight him? Asked Eri. Yes. Said Izuku. Eri got afraid. Eri it's going to be fine. Said Izuku, I'm very strong. Eri still looked afraid. Don't worry I will beat him or help beat him and keep you safe I promise said Izuku. But, said Eri. Even with Hugh's quirk, I'm very powerful, said Izuku, and Achiko recently got stronger. Eri nodded, though Lumen did confront her. Katsuki also decided to lend her firecracker to help her, he was a bit worried she might use her quirk on the kitty, but figured that Illumin would take the hit if she did activate her quirk. However before they left Izuku let a note in the kitchen. I am busy this morning so I can't cook. Please don't set the kitchen on fire while I'm gone. Was the note Izuku left? You think someone would set the kitchen on fire? Asked Mashareo. Izuku looked at Mashareo. I trust Sato not to set a fire. Said Izuku. He doesn't count. Said Katsuki. Izuku sweat dropped, after all after they got together in the dorms it had become commonplace for the three bakers, i.e. Izuku, Toru and Sato, to share recipes and even sometimes bake together. Still he really hoped his classmates wouldn't start a fire. And so soon enough they were outside of a very nice old-fashioned house surrounded by heroes and police. Of course the students were nervous. However Izuku noticed something as they were getting ready. A certain sword on Katsuki's hip. One that looked exactly like a certain sword from his past life. Wait. Said Izuku eyes widening. It's a replica. Said Katsuki. I made it the other day. Said Momo. Clear got her dream friend so that she could look at my memories from my past life. Said Katsuki. Izuku nodded. It's made of something else so it's different, it's not the same sword but at the same time looking at it said Katsuki. Izuku nodded. You think you can handle it? Asked Gran Torino. I can. Said Izuku. Aizawa approached Izuku. By the way I'm going to be sticking with your group. He told Izuku. Okay. Said Izuku. With Tamaki, Fat Gum gave him some swordfish to eat. That will help along with the coconut muffin I ate before I got here. Said Tamaki. I never thought of that. Said Fat Gum face palming. 
I know I didn't either. Said Tamaki, but Izuku helped me to be able to make sure I can make the seed in our spare time. Of course it was soon enough time. All right. Called out Tsukachi as he was the police in charge, I'm going to serve a search warrant. As he was about to ring the doorbell suddenly Izuku, Katsuki Achiko and Mirio moved several of the cops out of the way. Because a massive villain punched the gate and would have hit the police if they were warrant grab. How did you know that was going to happen? Asked the police officer Izuku saved. It's kind of hard to explain. Said Izuku. At the same time Ryukyu turned into her dragon form ready to fight him. We shouldn't split up too much. Said Ryukyu, for now the Ryukyu agency will take care of this. Oh come on. Yelled Toru. Toru. Sighed Achiko with a sweat drop. No one wanted to say it out loud, but it was clear it was for the best if Toru wasn't part of the main group going in as who knows what she could do. The other sidekicks and students from the agency all got ready to help her however. The rest headed inside. Meanwhile somewhere inside Chisaki's eye twitched. Ever since he lost Eri things haven't been going him. Not to mention the call he made to the League of Villains after Eri was taken from him. Flashback. He called the number that he was given. In case he wanted to try to get in contact with them again. Hello? Asked a voice that sounded wrong down, it was also twice. It's me. Said Shisaki. Who? Asked twice, I know that voice. Shisaki groaned and explained who he was. Look I told you already. We're not in the best shape to team up right now. Said twice, in fact since the last time we talked things have gotten even worse. What? Asked Shisaki. Trust you don't want to know. Said the voice, oh you want to hear what happened? Shisaki sighed. I just wanted some information about UA students. Said Shisaki. IT was clear that voice put it on speaker. What do you want to know about the UA students? Asked another voice who was Davi. There were two students I ran into that I later found out were from UA. Said Shisaki. What did they look like? Asked Dobby. He gave their description and there was a silence and then he heard priestess started laughing hysterically. Wait, are you laughing because? Said Toga. You are a screwed. Laughed priestess. Oh so those two. Said Magna. Yep. He is beyond screwed. Said priestess. They took something important from me. I need to know what they can do. Demanded Chisaki. My advice, accept defeat, what you lost doesn't belong to you anymore. Said priestess. What? Asked Chisaki. Yeah, you are screwed. Agreed Jack attack. No coming back from that. Said Toga. Don't call us again. Said Dobby. The phone hung up. IT was clear that they weren't going to help him at all. End of flashback. He looked over the old man's body in front of him. I don't care what they say about this being doomed. I will revive the Yakuza. He said. Of course he didn't know who he was dealing with. Back with the heroes, they were able to easily get their way into the mansion, granted they had to fight the Yakuza. They got to a wall that Sir Knight I knew about thanks to his investigation. How did you found out it? Asked Gran Torino. It's not important now. Said Sir Knight I. Gran Torino glared at him. Sir Knight I moved around the panels in a specific order. It's like a ninja hideout. Said Bubble Girl. She then noticed Tamaki. Wait that's not offensive is it? Asked Bubble Girl. No it's fine. Said Tamaki. Of course more of the Yakuza came out of the door once it opened. Bubble Girl and Centipeter took care of it. They all headed into the basement. They all headed down and found a wall. Wait let me check. Said Mirio. Wait. Lemillion. If you do that. Said Kirishima. 
Don't worry he's not going to naked. Said Katsuki. His costume is especially made so that his quirk works with it. Said Todoroki. It uses his DNA. Said Tamaki. Mirio went through the wall and saw that it was thick but if they break through they could go through it and told them so. It must because of his quirk. Muttered Rocklock. I don't know, it seems too obvious. Said Momo. I got it. Said Mashireo, Bakusai Tenketsu. He easily destroyed the wall much to most of the group's shock. How were you able to do that? Asked Rocklock. Something I learned from my past life. Said Mashireo, also if you're worried it doesn't work on living things. Everyone decided to ask how he didn't know that. However that was when got weird. All of the walls and floors began to warp a lot. The entrance to the basement suddenly closed as it warped. It wasn't Chisaki who did it, it has be the HQ director. Said Sukachi, but he's stronger than normal. He must have given himself a boost. Said Fat Gum. I found him. Said Mirio. He turned to the rest of the heroes and police officers. There's something I want to try. He said with a grin. He then then phased into one of the walls. That smile. Said Gran Torino. Yeah. Said Izuku, if he smiles like that you know something is going to happen. Soon enough Hall stopped warping and part of the selling opened up as a large man was dragged out by Mirio who had a hockey-covered hand. Aizawa activated his quirk on the man. Izuku. Katsuki. Yelled Mirio. Got it. Said Izuku. Katsuki just nodded. Izuku kicked him while Katsuki used the blunt end of his sword and Mirio punched him. All of them of course used hockey and the man was knocked out. That was easy. Said Mirio. However were you able to that? Asked Sir Night Eye. I was able to combine hockey with my quirk, with hockey I'm able to grab things I want to grab while still using my quirk, this is the first time I even tried it. Said Mirio, thankfully it worked it. Sir Night Eye nodded proud of his student. They looked at the warped hallway, while it was no longer being controlled by him, it was distorted. That's going to be hard to walk through. Joked Miro. It could have been worse. Said Mashareo with a shrug. Everyone agreed. Some of the police decided to stay behind with the knocked out Yakuza. However the rest headed down the twisted hallway unsure what they were going to find. Especially since even the Yakuza had their plans tossed out, after all they didn't expect him to be knocked out rather quickly. Hopefully this first easy defeat was a sign of things to come. That will be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to hear more from me subscribe I hope to see you all in the next one.